Dooley Noted, 722, 2017. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here with the amazing Dr. Anna Folkemer. Uh, we are here with uh, the great ID teaching team, the amazing artwork of Danny Quirk at Immaculate Dissection Level 3 Taiwan. And uh, we uh, had a, a fan favorite today with the discussion of rotator cuff musculature and the spaces. Dr. Anna, if you make a turn, you'll see Danny's amazing work here. And we can see that we have rotator cuff musculature. We have the supraspinatus going underneath the acromion, attaching to the superior um, facet of the greater tubercle. Then we have the infraspinatus uh, coming from the infraspinous fossa of the scapula, coming over to the intermediate facet. And then we have the teres minor coming from the lower part of this infraspinous fossa, coming over to the inferior facet of uh, the greater tubercle. And then the teres major coming over and disappearing as it goes over uh, to uh, the anterior shoulder, to the medial of the intertubercular sulcus. Why we show this in ID is an important area of impingement. So the teres minor and the teres major create spaces for us. And the long head and the humerus also help create these spaces. And so if we get the inferior angle a peace sign and give the humerus a peace sign, we actually create three potential spaces. One is the triangular space where the circumflex scapular artery lives. One is the quadrangular space where the axillary nerve and posterior humeral circumflex artery live. And another space here called the triangular interval below the teres major, uh, this is where the radial nerve and the deep brachial artery live. Why these three areas are important is that if, if Dr. Anna has dysfunctional, dysfunctional scapulothoracic joint rhythming uh, resulting in rotator cuff, uh, dysrhythmia, we end up with an impossible impingement of these important structures passing through these spaces. Um, one more reason to make sure your function of the scapula is very good, because two major blood vessels pass through here, a third one that goes down to the humerus, our blood supply, half, nearly half of the blood supply to this dorsal scapular region comes between these two areas. It's also helped fed by the suprascapular artery and the transverse cervical artery. The two arteries here, the circumflex scapular and the posterior humeral circumflex, pass through these muscular structures. So if Dr. Anna has a pathomechanism of the kinetics of this area, we can impede upon the, the blood flow that actually feeds these structures. So these structures actually can disrupt their own vascular flow. The same thing happens down here with the deep brachial artery. Deep brachial artery helps to contribute to the feed of the triceps muscles. So impediment of this area can actually result in the stealing of blood to things that are down low. So we wanted to give you one more anatomic reason why you should encourage assessments of these areas, the triangular space, the triangular interval, and the quadrangular space. Just one more reason to take immaculate dissection level three. Uh, we have one coming up in November and Newport. Uh, you can find our uh, level three seminars as well as our other seminars at www.immaculatedissection.com or you can email us directly, drkathydooley at gmail.com afolkmer at gmail.com It'll be in the list of descriptions at the end of uh, this video. Uh, you got to come see us. you got to see the amazing artwork of Danny Quirk. And you got to hear us talk about anatomy and go through functional assessments, go through palpations. Look at these spaces and be able to learn how they impede upon the flow of themselves, basically. And the rest of the flow of the scan. Dr. Kathy Dooley with Dr. Judah Volkmer. And we hope to see you at an ID seminar soon. Back.